Okay, our next guest, I gotta tell you, is a blast from the past. For all of our diehard fans out there who have been with us since the very beginning, which was 27 years ago, boy, boy, do we have a treat. Because today we have a special guest. And the last time he was on our show, he was, and those of you old enough will remember this, he was a 70-pound baby. Whoa. Take a look at this video. My guest today has been on TV, he's been in the newspapers and magazines, and he's definitely become an international celebrity. And all at the ripe old age of 18 months. In fact, the entire world has been captured by the story of Zach, the 70-pound baby. Now, before we meet Zach, let's take a look at what daily life is like for this oversized tot. Zach is a big guy, you know, and, you know, you can lift 70 pounds and you can place it down, but you've got to place it down real gentle. This is Zach's diaper. This is the large adult diaper. It's, it's not made for his body. We have a lot of problems with it, but we need to go around and for his very big thighs. And we change Zach on the floor uh, because he's so big. He does not fit actually the length either on a changing table uh, and the weight, you know, the one that we had anyway. So it's a lot easier for me to change him on the floor, and if he starts wiggling away from me, he's not going to get hurt as bad. He's not a big eater. That's one of the most frequently asked questions. Um, and that was also a reason why we were so concerned, because he's not a big eater, then where is the growing coming from? You know, that was another mystery. You like that? I see you happy guy. Sometimes I have to go out and we go to the store shopping, and um, it's a difficult task. Um, we also have a problem with car seats. He exceeded the weight limit on car seats, um, and they were not wide enough for him because he's a very broad boy. So we, go, we head off to the store. It takes me about 15 to 20 minutes to load Zach up. We have a special stroller for Zach now, which is a handicapped stroller that goes up to 140 pounds. Uh, it makes my job a little easier in pushing him. We go to the grocery store. It's, it's kind of difficult because I have to push him in the carriage. He does not fit in the shopping cart. It's time to load up the van. That is, is a long, long thing. That can take anywhere from half hour on, uh, especially if I have a lot of groceries. Um, usually I put Zach in the van first and I get all the groceries loaded in and whatnot. Uh, then we have to come home and unload, so it, it's a long day, it's very tiring. Um, it plays a lot on the body. Uh, both Chris and I get a lot of pain from Zach. Um, I have a bad back, bad legs and stuff, and it, it really wears and tears. During the daytime, we like to go outside and uh, play on the swing that we have out in the front of our house. It's, a, um, it's an adult swing, it's like a love seat kind of swing, and um, we play on that. He likes to play in the grass and, and put grass in his hair and everything. <laughs> He can't play um, too much at the playground because the equipment really isn't designed for him. The, the uh, infant equipment is way too small for him. He doesn't uh, hold up his weight, and he does not fit in the swings at all. Such a good boy, such a gentle giant. Wouldn't change him for the world, no doubt. Yeah, you know. You know. Here is Zach and his parents. So what was it like at the beginning? I mean, were you aware that you were going to have a very large baby during your pregnancy? Um, well, I, I was pretty large during my pregnancy. They said we were going to have about an eight-pound baby. And uh, Zach came out about 10'6 and 23 inches long, which was large, but not, you know, overly large, not off the charts or anything. And we weren't that concerned because I was a 10-pound, 2-ounce baby myself. Oh, um, I see. And he started out in 12-month-old clothing. And we kind of skyrocketed from there. He would gain 2 and a half pounds every two weeks and grow an inch. He would grow an inch in, isn't that painful? Yes, uh, for two days out of those two weeks, this child, he's a, he's a happy, best kid you could ever ask for, but this kid would cry. Um, he does not eat a lot, only when he grows, uh, because he's burning so much energy, and he would sleep a lot. And after those two days, I had my, my good old Zach back again, and he was bigger. And So the spurts would come in a two-day period? Yeah, for every two weeks, for the first year of life, this kid grew every two weeks. We've had film crews at our house, since Tuesday, uh, I, you know, I went to the newspaper because I was angry, because I had doctors and they wouldn't do anything. And that's why I went to the paper, to try and get help and make people aware that these doctors aren't doing what they're supposed to do. I come up against a lot of stuff 
There's a lot of preconceived ideas out there about obese people, obese children, and a lot of it is false. Um, I get phone calls every day from moms, dads, and grandmas that have big children, and they're having the same problems that we have with doctors, equipment, diapers, shoes, clothes, you name it, public, response. Um, I don't want you just to be on the show so that we can all stare and then learn about the story and then go away. Um, I would like for you to have some help. Um, so we have uh, spoken to and found you a, uh, a very prominent uh, doctor. He is head of the genetics department at Columbia Presbyterian University. He is on the uh, phone right now. His name is Dr. Yaboa. Doctor, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, well, thank you very much for uh, uh, agreeing to, you've heard the story about Zach and you've agreed to uh, try and be helpful and uh, I know the family really, really appreciates it. Um, so do they have some sense of hope here that maybe you can be a very large baby but not necessarily spend the rest of your life being obese? Well, there are some growth disorders like these that as a child uh, grows up, you know, the condition gets better. So I hope that this is one of those, um, you know, disorders. Okay. Well, let's leave it at this. Um, you know, we will make sure that they get to uh, uh, your hospital and uh, and get an opportunity to meet with you. And uh, you know, the best news we can have is that uh, Zach is just a big baby, but he's going to be a uh, wonderful, healthy uh, young man as he grows up. Yeah, I, 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 I'm real tempted, but I don't want to disrupt him. I'm real tempted to hold him. Oh, everyone that, comes up and they just they smush him, they hug him, they kiss him. Is that something them. I should try? Or yes, it is. It is. It, it, it's it's a, a, oh, you, you haven't hugged anything. You hugged that. You are just a gorgeous, gorgeous little when boy. Your baby's oh. <laughs> Can you take a look at that? Hmm? Want to say hi, everybody? We'll be right back. Please welcome back Zach to the show. <laughs> hey, Zach. Pleasure meeting you again, man. It's great to meet you. Okay, let me try. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to? It is great to see you. It's very, it's a pleasure seeing you again, Jay. Well, yeah, you, you obviously cannot possibly remember because uh, you were 18 months old. No, this, I don't remember at all. And, and I got to tell you, this is God's truth. When people talk about shows they remember or what's your favorite show, everybody <laughs> remembers when you were on the show. And it's great to see that. How old are you now? You must be I'm 20, 23. 23 years. Yeah. yeah. I was on the yeah. show just over 20 years ago. Yeah. And well, it, you, you were totally adorable. Tell me about your life now. So you've grown nowadays, up without so. any particular, because at the beginning, everyone's asking the question. Yeah. Not your parents. They knew. But everyone else is asking, wow, is this kid going to have trouble? 70 pounds at 18 uh, There was months. definitely some trouble. You yeah. know, like every class I was in, I had this huge desk in comparison to everybody else. And yeah. uh, but not a health, not a health issue. You know, um, for the most Almost part, there. I was probably as healthy as someone can be with this this, this, this genetic wait. overgrowth syndrome. Yeah, and it's what is it amazing. called? I'm sorry, Simpson Globby Bennell syndrome, SGBS. Oh, see, I didn't know that. Okay. And uh, but yeah, nowadays I'm I'm a competitive gamer actually. Yeah. Like, oh. Oh. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and that's just by chance. Like yeah, I just. I played it because I liked it. It's hard for me to do some things because of my uh, size. Yeah. You know, I'm a big guy, but you know, I own that. I'm like the hottest fat guy around. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But uh, no, um, I play Smash 4 and uh, I play Gandorf. Yeah. My tag used to be Opana, but now it's Rhino because that's what people call me. I'm a big like a Rhino. Okay. You know? It's really good to see you. You know, after everything you did, you helped us a lot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do, do people, when you meet people now, they wouldn't off the top of their head say it, but does the fact that you were on your Zach the Baby, does that come up in a conversation? Or uh, when oh, you yeah, it, it definitely comes up. Yeah. There's people at the doctor's office, shopping. I could be anywhere. There's people that recognize me, even people that <laughs> it's beyond their time. Like, that could be around my age, and they've heard about it from their parents. 
Yeah. Like, it, word gets around. It's pretty crazy. It was international news at the time. Yeah, I know. For those of us I was old all to around the world. I had some uh, relative in Korea at the time, and he yeah. called us up the day after we went to the news. He's like, why is Zach in the paper? You know? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. And uh, things just really took off. Well, good, you know, good for you. In a good way, though. Like, yeah. That's good all good for you. Okay. Well, I, it's, a, it's a pleasure to have you back. I'm, I'm glad that it, it, it's had a, uh, you know, you're having a good life. And, you know, I hope you get all the... I couldn't ask for a better family. Yeah. You know, they've done so much for me. Well, God bless you. are a good man. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure. We'll be right back. There you go. How are you? After all these oh years. Oh my God, how are oh, you? It's great to see you. You helped yeah. my family so oh, much well, and so many were, other people. You were, you were such good parents. Thank you. Yeah, you still are. Well, my husband passed away. Oh, I did. Almost 10 sorry. years, almost nine years now. I'm and so um, I raised yeah. them all on my own. We have five. Wow. Yeah. And uh, But you helped us out yeah. because you were the only one that gave us the doctor that we needed. Yeah. And it uh, took a lot of. Rough from the community, from the world, okay. but when the results came back, it was because of you. And now, there were only two places in the world that would test for his gene. Yeah. Now it's all over the place. And they found out there's more than one type. Um, I donated a placenta from yeah. my last child to St. Yeah. Jude's for research. And uh, just, it's been amazing, wow. you know? It's been an amazing I ride. Really we, appreciate we wanted him to have a normal life, so we, we took him out of the yeah. scene. He's and having it, yeah. I carried him until he was 100 pounds. Then, yeah, <laughs> you're on your own, kids. Yeah. Yeah. Now, it's his turn to carry yeah. Mama. <laughs> oh. Well, you're looking great. And, and what a happy, what a happy story. It, it, you know, it was yeah. great meeting All you, the yeah. best to you. Stay in touch. Thank you so much. And you okay. as well. Thank of course. You. Thank you for everything. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. For more Judge Jerry, click here. For more Jerry Springer, click here.